everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Welcome to my Wednesday live stream. So happy to have you here. I think we're going to get a storm. I'm just saying, I, if the power goes down and I just disappear, just know I'm okay. I'm okay. We're all okay. Welcome. Good to see you guys popping in and yeah, glad to be here. I, uh, I have a, a family home and one of them just finished mowing the lawn. Timing was perfect. The other one's hiding downstairs. So it's all good. You know, we're going to get through this today. And I'm going to try something today that I've never done. Wish me luck. I'll tell you what it is in a second. First, want to say hello to some of you in the comments. I see Richard and Kelly and Christina. Lots of good people out there. Mira, Def Shelty Mom. Uh, good to have you here. And yeah, it's getting it's getting dark and gloomy. So Hopefully the face is looking in focus. I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm figuring things out. It looks good on my end. It might not on yours. I mean, I can't do anything about the face. Face is what it is. Let's go to the table, shall we? Time to get into it. I have got some fun products today from my favorite things, stamps. Now, they kindly sent me a few items and I am going to use these items today. Uh, that looks a little weird and vibrating. Let's flip that over. I'm going to use this paint stroke stencil and I'm going to do something that I've never done before. I've seen it and it is the eclipse technique. You know what I'm talking about, right? I think it would work for this. Now I could change my mind, but as it stands, that's what we're gonna do. Let's check in with the die cut cam. There she is. See, that's my version of having Tom to check in with. It's just the die cut cam. Thank you. All right, we're coming back. So. I need to get started with some stenciling. Now today, I'm gonna to be painting with Distress Inks. I've already pulled a little assortment here. And here's here's the thing I thought was kind of clever, and you tell me. I wanted to use Kitsch Flamingo. You know I like to skip red, right? In my, I just skip red in my rainbows. But I also pulled for my blue and purple, well, it's not gonna focus because I've got the focus locked, uh, Salvage Patina and Villainous Potion because those three are part of the number 17 pack, I think, um, because you can't buy them by themselves yet. So but that, I thought that would work. And even though Villainous Potion is a little, that's a little dark, uh, I can always just dilute it, right? Oh, look it, I've got a ring light that's showing a crazy light. Let's get that out of the way. I don't, I don't like that. Okay, so here is the stencil and the stencil approximates brush strokes. However, you know, my stencil's a little puckered here, not puckered, but I thought if I'm going to use this properly with painting, which is what we're doing today, I am going to spray some pixie spray on it. So let me get my box of goodness. True story, I lost my other box of goodness that I spray things in and now I have to do this one. And so I'm, I'm breaking in a brand new box of goodness. So let's see what happens here. All right, box of goodness. Uh, Mira, if it's breaking up, you log out and come back in because I, I have a good stream, I think. Huh. Hopefully it's going to be fine coming from my end. Buffering. Huh. Try logging out and coming back in. All right. We're going to put a little here on the back. Pixie spray. Okay. And I'm not, I'm not going to put a lot on. Just a little to hold the centers down because I don't know which one I'm going to use. Yeah, I could, it could be weather issues too. All right. Hopefully not. Hopefully the stream is coming through. I know there are two other people on the internet right now. Hmm. Well, I wonder if I could ask them to get off the internet. Hard to say, but actually the upload speed is different than the download speed. So I'm going to have to go for it. Okay. Some people momentary, you never know. I am going to start in the center and okay, other thing I forgot, now I got a little flustered. I've got Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock. This is what I think I want to use. And honestly, just for today, I'm gonna go with the smooth side, okay? And I'm gonna start with, I think the one that I'm actually going to use, let's uh, I'm gonna put this right in the center because what I wanna do is some overlapping here. So this is also gonna require a little bit of masking. Let me see, I didn't plan on this. Okay, thanks guys, you never know. I mean, you know, it's the internet, it's the internet. What are you gonna do? 
All right, I might sp I might zoom in a little here for you too, just a bit, because I'm I've got eight colors and I don't think I'm going to use all of them. You know what? We are going to start one, two, three, four, five. We're going to start with picked raspberries. So what this means is I have to start with my center color. Does that make sense? Hmm. Yes, it does. All right. Mask one like this because I want to protect these other openings. Uh, <laughs> this is some honeybee masking paper. kind of love this stuff. Wait, no, heffy doodle, not honeybee. I always say that wrong, but I love this stuff. It's good. We're going to protect our spaces and... Let's start in the center. Come in here. I've got clean water. I've got clean water. One of them will become a dirty water, but I, I never, I never remember what which one is which. I've also got a number eight Royal and Zen Lang Nickel brush, just a very affordable brush. And we're gonna start in the center. Because I want to make sure that I space this so I have enough. Now, I'm just smooshing on my mat. This mat, oh my gosh, my husband is waving at me from outside. Oh my gosh, that just threw, hold on a second. I'm looking out the window and my husband's right outside going, no thank you, no thank you, not today. Not today, Satan. Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> get some clean water. Uh, I also have a little, little towel here and I'm just gonna wet my distress down a little and bring it in because oh it doesn't it doesn't matter if this slides i don't even know why i have it on um the uh grip vat it doesn't really matter i'm hoping that the pixie spray does its job right and keeps everything in contained good to go messy 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 i do need to be mindful of the edges here though and i was just getting a little wild so we're just gonna get that in like that. And that's color one, all right? I should be wiping things up as I go as well because I <laughs> just like that term, not today's Satan. Okay, so we're gonna pull this up and here's where it's gonna get tricky. Um, jewels, not tools, because I feel like I want to use the same, uh, I want to use the same design across the board. So I have to do something, which is one, lift. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going to come up. Okay, let's try that again. Lift this up. Okay, there's there's our first one. I am going to just kind of wipe that off over here. And I'm going to set this aside for now. I want to make sure I remember my order. But here's what I have today. I brought in, and I think it will reach. Oh, it's barely going to reach. Uh, my heat it craft tool and I'm just going to heat this a little to to get the drying facilitated because even though this might do a little warpy McWarpster it's okay it's going to be okay um, I'm not going to do a ton I'm going to put it in a book while I do part of the rest of the piece okay we got you. we got it we're, we're making sense all right let's come over here and I'm going to overlap all right like that. Seriously. Uh, Dan, thanks a lot for that. That was great. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna overlap a little. Now well, let's go over a little more. You know, this is just experimenting, right? Like I, I don't know what's happening here. Okay. Do not know. But yeah, the pixie spray, I mean, it, for something like this, and I have done videos with stencils from my favorite thing stamps and you know what i i actually feel like getting a little more uh the pixie spray really works it helps so that it doesn't go slide underneath your stencil not that that would be bad it, it would be fine actually it wouldn't it wouldn't ruin it but now okay we're working backwards so we have to go to the next color which is spice marmalade okay probably enough that's the thing I love about this mat, since I have kind of, um, for lack of a better word, fallen in love with this mat. This mat's great, you know, because you can do pretty much everything on it. And it's, I don't know if you've noticed, but in my videos lately, I've, I've been using it for pretty much everything. I really, really like it. 
Now that looks pretty washed out. So let's smush a little more. Okay. Slide up here a little bit more. Get a little more water and pick it up. And here's the thing too, when you're doing something like this, you can do all the potching you like, you know, just whatever, because it's going to dry funky. It's going to look kind of cool. That's good. All right. Don't need to do anything else. You know what? Let's use a, I'm going to grab my, just this stamp chamois. It's a little easier for cleaning up. It does look close to it. I know. And I don't, well, here's the thing. You know what? Maybe a little more. Good point. I don't want to, I don't want to have to re-stencil. I just want to get what I want in there the first time. And you know, there's going to be a, well, actually, if you see where it's drying right there, there's definitely a difference, but you know, we're going to go. Anyway, welcome everyone to my Wednesday live stream. It's lovely to see you out there. Glad to have friends joining and hope you're having a great week so far. My week's going, you know, it's going fine. Been doing a lot of work for scrapbook and cards today, this week. A lot of uh, production work, which has been uh, fun and sometimes challenging. All right, I love that little bit of water, right, that goes over the edge there, or kind of pools. Again, I'm gonna wipe this off over here so I don't transfer to the best of my ability. And I'm, you know, I'm just gonna hit it with the tool just a little bit. Although I technically should, I could let the colors move, but I think, I, I, I think this is good. It's making a weird noise. Hey, I see uh, someone from Richmond, British Columbia. I have, well, not so many now, but most of my relatives are from British Columbia. My mother uh, is, is from Victoria, uh, is where she grew up. All right, we're coming all the way to the edge here. And I want to preserve a little margin, okay? Probably, if I look at this and I think to myself, quarter inch, is, am I on the right side? I think I am. And let's come down a little because you're too high up there. Okay. Eh, it's probably fine. I, You know I like to trim my panels down and I may not be able to, I don't know yet. We're gonna, we're gonna know when we get there. This stencil, thank you for asking, is from, and that got toasted. This stencil is from My Favorite Thing Stamps. And right now, I can't, I can't get this off. I totally just went blank for a second. I've always hoped that doesn't happen during a live stream, but you know what they say? Well, anything can happen. Okay, popping you there. How's the focus on this? I locked it so that when I lift up my hands, they don't make you go dizzy. Does that make sense? Because I know sometimes it can be a little jarring, right, to see that focus change. So I've got it locked on our on our surface today. Oh, would you like me to zoom in a little? Well, all right, then I will. We'll come in a little bit more. Okay. I still want you to be able to see my smushy smush over here. And we'll just, we'll just slide you over. I like to keep it all gray. Okay. Getting some clean water and picking up the picked raspberry. It doesn't look as sticky now. See, the stencil starts to lose its. And we're just gonna, we're gonna potch it down and overlap. Again, easiest painting you'll ever do, right? Through a stencil, messy brush painting. This is my kind of painting. And yeah, I'm using the exact same section of this whole thing. Uh, I don't know if it's upside down. It doesn't matter because I can flip it. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm trying to see comments. When the stencil is flipped. Well, actually, no, I can read the writing there. The writing's reading upright. So I think I'm, I think I'm good. Uh, all right, there we go. I promise I'm right side up. Ooh, okay. Good, good, good. Now, wiping that away. Mira, do you mean that is is it upside down? This is the, uh, it's reading the engraving here. I don't know if that makes sense, but with something like this, it doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't matter if it's right side up, upside down. Hey, Bethany, so glad to see you here. 
Um, I have been binge watching Bethany's channel <laughs> lately. Have I told you that, Bethany? Uh, Beth Adilly, check her out. I will, I'm will. i going to link Bethany uh, in the description because if I mention something, I got to remember it. Um, but Bethany, your channel is delightful and I have been really enjoying watching you make cards. I find it to be very relaxing. And like you say, when you're creating, it's relaxing and I agree. It's, it's, it's relaxing to watch. All right. Just getting a little hastening that dry with my low setting on that heat tool. Okay. All right. Mm, now we have to move on to the next color. And again, I think I have maybe been flipping it this way and that way. It doesn't really matter to me. Let's flip it. Let's get some, the whole thing with this is that it's a mishmash, you know? It doesn't have to be perfect. Your mission and your mashing. Now, one of the things that happens with the pixie spray, and I did flip it this time. What is that? I don't, some kind of first grade schmutz. Yeah, it's, it's, you, I'm, there we go. I'm just playing. I'm just kind of flipping it. It's staying stuck the same side, right, with the pixie spray, but I'm flipping it. Yeah, sorry, I misunderstood, you know. <laughs> oh, some days, I tell you. All right, we're going to go into my favorite color, which is Twisted Citron. And here's the thing. If this isn't dark enough, I am going to use... Oh, let's get you there. My reinker, um, and I'm just doing this now because my other stuff isn't sticking. But I'm going to use my reinker if it's not inky enough. I oh, there's no stick on that. How about here? Ooh, there we go. Now where am I going to put my ink? I'll slide over. I just I just inked this, and let's see what happens. Hey, Bobby, good to see you. You know, here's the thing, Laura. I get you know. There are things that I do now, if you had told me as a scrapbooker that I would be doing these, I would have laughed you out of the freaking room. I, I never did stuff like this. This is not, was not in my wheelhouse. You know, I was a very clean and simple scrapbooker. All I wanted to do was make minimal scrapbook pages that had almost nothing on them and the crafty stuff. I'm serious, it was like, no, no, I'm not crafty. I mean, I tried heat embossing once in the mid 2000s and I I sent embossing powder all over this very room where I am today and I, I thought to myself, this is not for me. All right, here's what I wanna do though. I have a very special bottle of Distress Ink with the label. This is a re-inker for Twisted Citron. Uh, you know, Mary, it might, but here's what I'm gonna do. Look at that. This is going to this is going to show up like a mother. Okay. Anyway, I would have never thought I could do stuff like this. I I didn't want Oh, look at that. Look, at, now we might have too much. Oh boy. Um we need a little more water. And yet here I am. It's it's, <laughs> it's bizarre to me. Oh yeah. Pumping that up. Tell you what, I don't have a lot of reinkers. But if there's a color that you really love in some of the lighter shades, like for me, it's Twisted Citron. Look at the difference in that. Just like, boom. Look at, look at the color of the water. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I just, uh, oops, I don't have my little mat underneath here. I never thought I would have so much fun doing this. Do you know what I mean? And it, it, it's, again, it is as shocking to me as, any, as anything. Jennifer McGuire years ago used to say, you should make cards. And I would just pat her on the back virtually and say, you know what? You have a nice day. And now look at me. If only, well, I don't think I was ready, right? When the opportunity arises, when we are ready to receive it, is, isn't there, there a saying like that? All right, I got to lift this up. You can see how the stick is starting to, oh, look at that. Well, it's fine. You know what? You make a little schmutz over there. No big deal. I'm gonna heat this up. Again, let that set a little. So we're just making, you know, this little rainbow. Yeah, I guess I didn't wipe my stencil down well enough. Let's let's try to do that this time. And that's okay. Uh, I could always uh, use my little grinder. <laughs> what is it? It's not called a grinder. 
my my creative detailer I could try to erase some of that but I am getting little pieces here that should not be here so if you're doing this something like this just, just don't do what I do be whatever hey Mari good to see you here okay now two more colors to go I'm gonna flip it <laughs> see I guess I don't well now here's the thing though this might only be a fiver Okay, let me take this die first because I'm going to take this off the backer. Now, I know purple fans, you might be like, oh, Kathy, you're doing it again. And I honestly, I don't mean to. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're going to have to cut purple. Now, here's another reason. We are going to go with salvage patina, which is going to kind of bring a lighter, a lighter feel to this. When you have something like this, I don't like to have an even number of colors anyway. I would rather... I would rather it be not even. Uh, so this is actually working out to my advantage. And I also just realized I am going to be able to trim this down a little. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about life right now. Uh, going like that. And, and yes, yeah, sometimes, you know, I, I, I leave purple behind, but I think I have shown lately uh, that I really do love it. I just, if there's not time for it, there's not time for it. I feel like I need to do, use something a little stronger here. I'm going to try this Spellbinders tape. I just want this to stay flat. There we go. Or just to protect it. Last color, Salvage Patina. Purple's fine, though. I promise. You know I give it. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. I do give purple enough love. Lately, I've been doing this whole vibe of like mostly purple now i'm holding the stencil down because it's kind of losing its stick but this will be fine i might need more of this color salvage patina is sort of a lighter tone i feel like i've i've used it more as an oxide than as a distress ink just the regular formula but i think i'll be fine let's get in there pump it up Oh, I just went right under the stencil. And guess what? No one is going to care except, well, I don't know. I don't know who. Okay. I think that's it. I might do a little more. Yeah, I, I, I do. I've been doing a lot of purple, but I just ran out of space and I didn't, I did not know that was going to happen. So shall we, I'm going to be more careful with this because I don't know if that's going to hurt my cardstock. I'm not as familiar with this uh, Spellbinders tape. Let's get that out of the way. It is a mystery to me. I used it last week and it tore my paper. Okay. All right. Let's see if we just lift everything up. Oh, look at that little, look at that little splotch right there. Okay. That is the panel that we are starting with today. Now let me get some of this stuff. I'm just going to throw some stuff on the floor. I'm actually just going to mist my little stencil real quick with some water, wipe it down so it doesn't stain. And we're going to think about our, our lives for a few minutes. Okay. So now let's get our drying tool and we're just going to just hasten a little. Actually, there we go. Oh, I gotta come over here because the cord is not hitting. <laughs> now my paper's warping a little and that's okay. I'm even gonna flip it over, do the back a little. Okay. All right, let's move you. And see, I don't think that little, sh little bit matters, but let's see what happens anyway. All right, oh yeah, Stamp Timber's coming. Who just mentioned Stamp Timber? I have a box over my shoulder with I can't, there's so much in there. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to see if I can get some of that off. And you know what? I don't think any of it's coming off. Nope. It's fine. You know what they say. Perfection only matters in horseshoes and homemade pasta. I don't know what the saying is. Okay. All right. Now. I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next part of the card. So let's set that there. 
uh, move things over here. And how, how's everyone doing out there? You still, you still with me? We're still live. Okay, I need a, I need a sip of the Lacroix. Mm. Okay, the next step, if we should dare to go there, is to start doing some die cutting now. Horseshoes and hand grenades. I know. I just always feel like that's so violent. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. And what I'm going to do, I wonder how many I could get. Can I, oh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to take some things down here. And we are going to die cut some hellos. So let's go over to the die cut camp where my Gemini patiently waits. Hey. Yep, yep, it's it's still here. So for those of you who have watched my lives before or seen how I do this, I just have this lovely plate system that I learned about from Jennifer McGuire. And it's a green plate taped to a clear plate. And it has been the best thing for die cutting oh, that I have experienced in a really long time because my plates don't really warp. Look at that. Look at that. I can flip it all the way around. Oh. Okay. There's one. I, I'm going to bring this back over to do this here. All right. It's just great. And the plates, I mean, well, I'm not in a focus mode that can show you, but you're going to have to trust me. They just don't warp. And I get more time out of these little friends. Now, where's my pokey tool? Oh, here we go. Does stamp timber mean sales? I mean, it, it's just a bunch. Oh, look at that. Hello. Hello. You know, some of you from a certain age, you might think um, when you see the word hello, you might think Adele, right? Hello. It's me, but not me. <laughs> when I come from, it's hello. Is it me you're looking for? Thank you, Lionel Richie. Um, uh, but yes, Lori, the turntable should be linked in the description. It is the, uh, what is it called? It's the, uh, uh, it's a rotating design board. Thank you. <laughs> rotating design board. Um, I guess I don't really need to tape this. Let's, uh, let's do more. Thank you, Lionel Richie. Okay. Also, one thing to note, I always cut into the same plate, okay? Into the same plate. Now, let's go back over. But what I do is, now that I've got this set up, I'll just flip it. So sometimes it's blade up, and sometimes it's blade down, right? So easy. I love it. I had that uh, I had that Lionel Richie album because who didn't? It was so good. Loved Lionel Richie back in the day. Look at how beautiful these cuts are. I mean, it's oh my gosh. You know what I should have been doing? Saving these for another card. Oh, Kathy. You know, part of that is uh, I guess newness to the hobby, and I can still say that right because I've been doing this for five years now. But I don't always think in terms of getting more use out of something. And I don't mean for that to seem wasteful. I, I really don't. Um, yes, the, I should have the link below for that turntable. It's called the Rotating Turn, the Rotating Design Board from uh, Crafters Companion. No, Totally Tiffany. Sorry, totally spacing here. Um, the Hello is from My Favorite Things Stamps. Now, if I want to do this right, I'm going to do a third one. We're getting a little, we're getting a little wild here, but I don't know for sure if I'm going to use this. Also, when the video's over, I will be uh, adding the link to Jennifer's video because she ha I have a timestamp for her video where I learned about this plate setup, and it has changed my life. I feel like Jennifer should turn it into a short reel. This board comes with a, a clip. You just take the clip off. 
it's great for small spaces, but it's also great for someone like me who I don't want to lift and I don't want to do anything uh, to hurt my wrists. So I, I love it. All right, so we've got hellos. We've got some hellos here. I guess there are other hello songs, aren't they? Well, I don't think they're called hello though, because like you could think of Jim Morrison, hello, I love you, won't you tell me your, your name? But I don't, is that song called hello? I don't, I don't know. Oh, totally Tiffany is. Thank you, Mari. I, I feel like when the ads come in for the magazine and I, I get totally Tiffany ads, now that's a little more centered. So I could use that on another card. Never say never. Help, um, you know, or, or always say never. Or sometimes say never. Or occasionally. It's really, I guess it's really your call. Okay. Uh, oh, the Beatles. Yeah, sure. I, I've heard of them. They're very popular at one time. <laughs> okay, so I've got a bunch of these. Now here's what I don't know yet. Is this dry enough to cut? I don't think it is. So I'm going to hit this with the heat tool one more time, and then I'm going to put it in a book while we do some gluing, okay? Let's uh, look at all those hellos. It just looks like a visual pattern. Kind of love that. Come on now. Come on down. There we go. I am going to get my heat tool again. Yeah. And we're just going to, we're just going to do that. I just want to get the moisture out of the fibers to the best of my ability. This actually, this rainbow is actually coming across as really primary to me. I thought it might be a little softer, and that's okay, you know. And I know there's no purple. But there's purple in our hearts. Also, it's nice to use these uh, Simon mats. I'm, I'm trying to pull this away from the letters. I don't want to heat the letters, but uh, these silicone paws are great for this still feels like it there's a little moisture in there so all right closing this up and I am going to grab my book and I'm going to put this in the book while we do some gluing okay because it's very warped are you my mother I'm gonna put it under something heavy behind me oh there you go there you go all right let that sit now Let's do some gluing. Oh, hello again by Neil Diamond. That's a good one too. Now for these, gosh, you know what? I'm tempted to do spray glue because oh, that's a lot of gluing. But you know, here we are. You guys are here. We're going to glue. I could do liquid glue too, which would be just as fast. In fact, let me grab a piece of, well, let's use this. Although is that going to give a weird, well, it might not. Okay. I... I'm going to use liquid glue, and I think for this one, I am going to use my Barely Art because this, I need to refill my Gina glue. Um, I ran out. I mean, I have some, I just haven't refilled it. So I'm just going to do this, and again, tedious perhaps, but you know, sometimes, oops, um, I need something to hold this. Sometimes that's part of the fun with crafting, right? We're just, we're just going to do it. We're going to get our letters. We're gonna stack them together and we're gonna make three. Okay. Uh, because I think I know what I'm doing. I'm not 100%, but here, someone messaged me today. They sent me an email and said, Kathy, uh, let, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the focus. Oh, bear with me for a second. I gotta put the focus back on normal. There we go. Otherwise, I can't show you what I'm doing. Uh, someone had asked me how do you get good at stacking die cuts? She said, every time I do it, something feels misaligned, etc., etc. And you know, I don't know if you guys have those issues, but it's just practice. I still am not perfect with lining up my die cuts. It's 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 time consuming, right? So I'm gonna just do that. And then I'm gonna add on more glue. I mean, is that perfect? No, it's not perfect. But this, this tip um, is really quite nice um, on this glue. This has been uh, nice to control on the Barely Art so far. Okay, easy peasy breezy cover girl. Thank you. Uh, what can I say? I, I grew up in a time with a lot of advertising. And uh, <laughs> just gonna, it's 
kind of my jam. I think this is going to be a longer video than I thought, but you never know. The the simplest videos, see this doesn't even, oh, there we go, get up there. I think we're okay. This is harder than I thought it, oh, because I just put it on backwards. Oh crap, on a stick. That's the wrong, the H has a, there we go. You always have to be, be mindful. Sometimes the little crossbar of your H can be uh, lower or higher. That is a typographic thing. It's not uncommon. I wasn't even thinking about that with the H, but there's our letter H. I think we're good enough. And see, this is where uh, <laughs> in a video, if I wasn't live, guess what I would do? Oh, I'd put on that music. And I would be speeding it up. You know, that makes me think, I think I'm gonna do spray spray glue for the rest because honestly, this is about as tedious a thing as you can do. So I'm gonna put the pin back in. I'm gonna get the remaining letters, right? Like this. And then I'm gonna take these friends and we're gonna put them in our fancy box that we just set up. Let's get you out here. All right. Now, let me, I'm gonna put them all upside down. See, I feel like that is not as good as it could be, but we'll see, okay? This is, this is where I wish I had a little more room. Okay, upside down. Don't forget to turn them upside down. Like that. Upside down. Don't forget to turn your die cuts and I'm sorry, Diana Ross, I didn't mean to basically ruin your masterpiece. Okay, so now I've got this. I'm going to spray it just off camera because I don't want to get any of this on my um, camera or my laptop. So I'm going to be a little off to the side, shaking it up, and we're going to spray some on. Hold on here, holding my breath and holding it off to the distance. Oh yeah, that's working great. Okay, so much faster. Low in the opposite direction. Okay. Um, I don't know if my friend Bethany is watching, but she was talking about spray glue and that she hadn't really gone there yet. Um, it's, okay, here, this is going to be so fast. It's just a thing, you know? It's like, it's so strong, and as long as you wiggle, look at how much faster that is. Oh, my goodness. Um. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Wait, where's the sticky? Oh, there's the, wait, no, yeah, okay. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the spray glue. It just, it's my jam. It also reminds me of the olden days, back when I was a graphic designer. Well, I'm still a graphic designer, but back in the olden days of paste up, when we used to have to spray things and also these letters, you could even like push them down against a hard surface. Look at that. I think it's working. Okay. Um, it just reminds me of the old school of graphic design paste up because of the smell. Okay. Now let's see. How's everyone doing out there? I haven't checked in. I'm looking over my shoulder. Really glad that you joined me today for a convoluted project that, uh, well, I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be fine. I'm sweating profusely too. It's a little humid. Let's get you like that. That one's easy. Let's get another L. Uh, and bring you in. I actually grabbed my wrong tweezers as well. Normally, I use my gray tweezers for sticky stuff, but I kind of got a little confused. And that's okay. See how much faster this is? I think it's I think it's faster. I think it's a better use of my time. Now Will I do spray glue for the pretty layer? I don't know. And hopefully the pretty layer is gonna work. That's one L. Oh, <laughs> and another. I hope so. Hey, Emma's here. Emma's my moderator. Hi, Emma. Thanks for moderating, Emma. Emma, I think the only thing I've said so far is that I was gonna do Jennifer's video link, and I wanna link to Bethany's channel. It's called Bethadilly, because I think you crafty folks would love to see what she's making out there. Um, all right, so much faster. Liquid glue has its place. 
spray glue should probably be sprayed outside. But you know, the way I look at it, I mean, I've already done a lot of damage to my lungs. I'm proud of myself for living a good, clean life. I, I quit smoking almost 16 years ago. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to be good. Damage is already done. Okay, so. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Oh, I can see it in your smile. You're all I've ever wanted. My arms are open wide. Oh gosh, I mean every every school dance in high school. All right, I'm gonna pull out a little here now. And, oh, no, wrong way. Wrong direction, Kathy. Let's keep going. Go as far as I can. Okay, I'm going to make, uh, oh good, Beth, Bethany, good. You're gonna love it. It's just a little messy, but it's, you know, just don't breathe it in, okay? All right, I'm going to make my, let's get you out of the way for now. My card base, I'm just, I'm, I'm stolen. I'm stolen here so that, uh, filthy you over, so that my panel has time to dry. But you know what, when we die cut it, I think we're gonna be, well, we're gonna die cut it twice and it's going to be great but i am going to make my note card and this is just going to be a usa2 right so this is eight and a half by five and a half and we will score it at four and a quarter and also if there are any questions that anyone has had i promise i promise that i will uh, answer them yes marita i feel like do you know i mean and if you if you smoke i I don't judge because I, you know, I, I started when I was a little kid, which is crazy to say I was 12 years old, but you know, the mean streets of Everett, Washington, that's all I'm going to say about that. But it is true that as soon as you quit, like within 48 hours, things start getting better. Oh, let me zoom out. I got, I got too much in there. There we go. Uh, so yeah, after almost 16 years, I feel pretty good. I might be a little chubby, but as my doctor says, that is way better than smoking a pack of cigarettes a day okay now let's put you over here and I'm gonna grab my pretty panel and we're gonna see what we can do oh this is the Nina solar white classic crest and Karen you rock my world good for you uh, and I love this for my card bases but I do need to tape it closed so that everything stays nice and flat while I am put it down. I'm going to grab my favorite, one of my favorite die sets. Where did you go? Oh my gosh. Here we go. Okay. Waffle flower, layers die, and now I'm going to bring out my pretty panel because, let's see, let's see how it looks. Oh, I love seeing all the quitting smoking. And even if you, even if you are a smoker, and I know it seems like, <laughs> it seems like we're few and far between, that's okay. You quit when you're ready. You got to do it for you. That, that's what I've learned. I learned that. Oh, did I learn that the hard way? Well, actually, I quit because I was taking a trip to Australia and I knew there was no way. There's no way I was going to make a 14 hour flight. Okay, try quitting and coming back in. It's probably going to be okay. Um, we had some stream things earlier, but I'm, I'm hoping on the replay it's going to be okay. All right. I, oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to take the outermost one. Now, here's the thing. The outermost ring on this is, I'll show you this. It is, it is actually five and a quarter by four. That's a great panel so that you can still have that little margin around the edge that's very nice, right? And if I do this, this is actually going to flatten it's going to help me flatten ever so slightly before I cut the center out. So, and I'm going to cut the center out because I'm going to make an eclipse. I can't, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm so excited. I'm going to have to text Jennifer McGuire later and say, guess what I did? I did a technique. I'm sure many of you have done this before, but I just hadn't. And I saw this and I'm like, I'm going to do it. Okay. Let's make sure we're on our plate nice and straight. Of course, I like to angle, right? a little angle there so that you're not putting the full brunt of your die through. And I just want to visualize again. Oh yeah, we're going to be good. Okay. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, the money. Oh, the money that I've spent on cigarettes. It's insane. Also, I was a, 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 a closet smoker, a sneak smoker. So that's a fun story. Um, I, I never smoked in my house. Um, I, uh, I hid it from my kids. My daughter, I, I've probably told this story before, but my daughter said she was 10 when I quit. And she said, you know, I remember, I don't remember you smoking, but I remember you taking the, taking the trash out a lot and you would do it with, with coffee in hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would. And I'm not, you know, I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing out of my pure shame. Anyway, that's a story for another day. Oh, I don't, you know, I don't have a hashtag. I should, there's a lot of things that I want to do, people. I promise you, there's, I've, I've got plans. Uh, but I just haven't made them, I haven't made them happen yet. So now, here's what we need to do. I need to cut out my letters. And I want it to be straight. So what I'm visualizing here is, you know, side to side, top to bottom. We got thumbs down already? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm should I have not quit smoking? I'm joking. Okay, here we go. Uh, coming down. I think we're gonna be fine. And I am gonna tape this. I have to say this easy C tape is so great. Like it knock on wood, it has never torn my paper yet. Never. Turn just for a little bit of that. And let's go back over to the die cut cam. And I think on this one, I will flip it blade side up. All right. And uh, Lancaster Lass, I see your comment, and I will give you the answer to that. You have to, you have to work at it. Um, <laughs> you have to work at becoming addicted. And then it happens before you know it. Okay, let's pull this off. See, look at that. There's no tears ever. And the pieces just popped right out. So let's get this out of the way. Oh, I do like this. It's going to be very fun, I think. Okay, pop, pop you over here. All right, let's get these all over here. I'm getting a little quiet. Yeah, and I, I don't I don't enjoy the smell of it now. I'll tell you that. If I smell it, I kind of put my hand over my face. I love loved mask wearing for that purpose in a grocery store parking lot. <laughs> Just was like, yeah, I can't stand the smell of it now. But that's that's a good thing. And everything's, you know, oh, I need the center. Where did I put it? Oh, shoot. Is it there? Yes, it is. I may, I may need the center. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to make this card into an eclipse, right? So we're going to have a few things happening. And now I just realized something. This, this, is gonna, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna flip this over because I want to pop this up. And if I'm playing the game the smart way, let me see if I have any of my cheap masking paper. I would never use masking magic for this. But I have some stuff that I learned about from Jennifer McGuire. I don't have this linked, but it's uh, it's labeled paper, okay? And it's super cheap, and you can, oh, I already have some cut. And you can use it in the way that I'm about to use it. All right, I'm going to cut this down so that I have a backer, that's all. Uh, I need a pencil because I don't know how to measure things and I'm just going to do that. All right. This is going to be the back of stick and this is going to hold in my letters so that I can have that eclipse effect, but then also pop it up. All right. All right. Yes, I do. I do need the center. Okay. But I think that looks good even with that little, and I could color that over with a gel pen. You know what? I might try that when it's all done. Um, I've had people tell me that and I never I never think to do it, but check this out. We're just creating a backer for sticking. And here's the thing. Keep in mind, it's not like we're, you know, did I get too high on that? Uh, yeah, maybe. Hold on. It's not like it's a scrapbook page and I'm not worried like, 
Ooh, is this acid free? I don't, I'm making a card, you know? My recipient might keep the card for years to come. They might not. And that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind what they do with it. You know, I get the joy up front. Okay. Now, here comes the fun. I am going to inlay the dimensional pieces. Now, you know what? That wasn't very smart. <laughs> I should glue. I'm not taking that out now because I'm I'm committed. But this is where you would want to do a little bit of glue. So let's just do little dobbies. I don't think it's going to come out. I think it's going to be fine. And I guess all of this, right? Because the center has to be in there and the outside has to be in there. This is just to hold the letters in place, okay? And honestly, you wouldn't have to go eclipse on it. Boy, now I'm I'm torn, but I think we're going to. So you'll have to tell me what you think looks best. Popping these in. Like that. Actually, this panel flattened out really nicely. Okay, go like that. And which side is the greener? I think it's that. Yeah. And that goes down. Now that I've got that spaced out, I can gently kind of push that in. And that can be down. Oh! Isn't that cute? I'm going to zoom in a little. Sorry, I was a little far out there. Far out, man. Okay. Now, push. So, that is what we're doing there. And now, I think we should add the, the uh, eclipse effect. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to lay them over, and you tell me if you think it's cool. Because it's definitely something I've never done. I think it's funky, but chic. It's kind of cool. Right? Like, that's our yellow. And that's that. Would you do it? Would you do the eclipse? Would you go for it? I know it doesn't have the same contrast, but we still have to come up with a... I, I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to put a greeting on this, to be honest. I, I want to. But what do you think of that look? Cool. Should we do it? Okay. I think we're going to do it. Unless I hear an uproar from the gallery. Okay. There's a first for everything. It's my first eclipse card. Okay. A little fussy, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Sometimes we do a little fussiness. Now I'm going to grab some foam tape. And with this, I'm definitely going to be heavy with my foam tape if that's a word because of the potential for warping and we will go like this i mean i know i can do white right that's i've done that six ways to sunday today we're doing something different welcome to kathy zilski's youtube channel 2.0 mark 2. <laughs> that's another that's another one of my favorite things from spinal tap um, welcome when they become a freeform jazz band and play at the zoo and it's supposed to say Spinal Tap and Puppet Show, but instead it says Puppet Show, Spinal Tap. Oh, that movie. Yeah, the, no, technically no. Now with the, with the eclipse, you can do it either way. But what I have seen and what I wanted to try was to not have that. You know what I mean? Like just, we're going to say... No, we're going to, oh, see, that's going to straighten it. And you know what? Once I get this on the card base, um, I'm going to get a gel pen. I don't know, though, if I offset it. Oh. For those of you who have done Eclipse cards, what is the standard? Is it an offset or is it straight on top? Because what you're not catching right now is the dimension. And you will, like, you will see it because it's going to give that shadow so I'm going to pop this down. Let's offset you a little so I can, I can't see over this mat. Okay. Get our nice little margin. It's very, I think that's good. Like, like that. Mm. Mm. So cute. All right. Let me get my gel pen because where there's a will, 
there's a way. Yep, I think I think I think that is what I'm going to do straight on top for the look. Now this is a look. This is very cute. Um, and and for something like this, let me get my gel pen going. I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, hmm. Come on now. It's not really flowing. Well, let's try it. Just a little here. I mean, it'll make it a little lighter. That's a little opaque. Or it's not very opaque. Let's see. Come on now. I could do a couple layers until it's not that noticeable. You know what, too? I could have just done a sequin or something, but this is actually working. Come on. A little more. There we go. That's not bad, right? Like, you can still see it. I'm going to do another layer uh, in a second. But for this round I am going to do liquid glue so let's take okay here we go straight on top and we're gonna put our friend here we're gonna just oop, like that. I need to have enough on here that it's not gonna raise so when you're doing something like this just really make sure that you have at least enough adhesive but especially at the ends of the letter forms right I'm only doing one at a time but I can only do that <laughs> Okay, here we go. Is that the right way for the H? Gosh, I don't know. Is it? Yeah, that looks right. And place you down. See, even there's, I feel like you're going to see a little white no matter what. You are. Because, see, as soon as you start to turn the card, right, you see that. Oh, my gosh, I love this. This is taking longer than I thought, though. I wasn't expecting to do a, a live stream. I'm usually done by four, but I think that's okay. Maybe I'll do two like this, because then it gives the glue a chance to set up a little. Okay. Let's get our letter E. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. It's so easy once you already have those in there, right? Like it just, it's so easy to drop it in. Oh. That is cool. And again, double check that we're in the right letter. Yep. L yellow. And even if there's a little oozing out, don't worry, because these glues tend to dry clear, but you can always just do that. Just wipe it away with a little pin. Mm. So fun. Now I do want to do a sentiment on here as well because wait till you see the coordinating set. Oh, it's so cute. That's gonna add a little time. So, you know, if you have to go make dinner, you know, go for it. I, I don't want you to be here all day. But then again, maybe I do. Okay, let's get you here. Oh, there was a little red on that part too. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Hold you in place. And let's get the last piece down. I might, well, we'll see. Like that. All right. Come on now. Get down there. A little liquid glue. I am going to, I think these are clean. Clean enough. Put that block down. Okay. Well, this is, and you can do this with any, any die, any word die. If you have a word die, you can make an eclipse card. That's why I've thought about this for a really long time. I've just never done it. Now I want to show you the sentiments in the set. This is called How to Say Hello. So here's the same stamp. And initially I was going to stamp this down as an offset and then put the die on top of it. Like to, no, I'm glad that I didn't, but the greetings are so adorable. Look at all these cute things. Hope your day is awesome. You've been on my mind. Just wanted to say. Hello, my friend. It's been a while. Let's catch up soon. Wish you were here. Hello, handsome. You had me at hello. That is super cute. Beautiful hello. You are my favorite. I don't know what I want to use yet, but I'm going to hold this over the top. Now, this is where you could kind of do whatever you want. I might do a black greeting, um, but look at this now. And again, I don't need to do anything other than that. That's a card, right? But you know what? Let's make it. Let's take it to the next level. Because <laughs> I can. Also, while we're here, 
I'm going to do a little more pen right there and try to cover that up a little and I'm just gonna color over that. It's a great tip thanks to whoever told me about this um, because let's see here this pen is not flowing though there's not much in here but it's uh, it's doing what I want it to do and even on the tip of that nobody nobody has to be the wiser all right looks pretty good now what if I did just do well gosh black might be too heavy maybe what I need is just a simple white greeting with gold metallic and you know what I think that's what I'm gonna do so let me grab some cardstock cut a little piece Dan, is that you out there? My live stream's just going a little long. <laughs> can you can you play some like do you play any instruments? Could you <laughs> please don't whistle. Okay. I guess I guess there's gonna be no music accompaniment today. Okay. I think this would look really cute with the with the uh, a little embossed white and gold so let's pull out a little bit here and i'm going to grab ouch i just got poked what was that um i don't know if i want my simon or my brutus monroe i actually think i'm going to go with the brutus monroe today and we're going to move this aside we're going to open this up and i think i want to keep it well maybe i do need to turn it this way i think i want to do Whistling Dan. Yeah, no, that is, uh, hello. Honestly, hello, my friend. I, I don't want this to be overkill. I want this to be simple. And I want this to be something that I could, oh, I just dropped my card on the floor. Um, I want it to be something that you could send to anyone. So let's just do my friend and go like this. Oh, gray would be nice too, Bobby. I, I, this is just an experiment, and if it looks like crap, you know, you know, you know what they say. You start over, but I think this is going to be cute. So, pick it up, my friend, like that. Now you know what I can't find. Oh, there we go. I do have some. Pick it up. I haven't stamped with this yet, so let's do a little bit. Oh, hey, Deb. Well, Dad, we're we're into our second hour, so I guess you didn't quite miss it. We're still uh, we're still going, and in fact, you get to see your tool. Well, that's exciting. Stamper's Secret is the maker of the Debbie tool, and that is this little friend that I use when I'm using my Misty. And a simple greeting like this sometimes I I don't need to add much pressure, but we're gonna do it and see if this works. Do I have a po box? Oh, a. <laughs> I'm like, what's a P.O. box? P.O. box. Yes, I do. Because um, if it was just P.O. box, I do have a P.O. box. It is, uh, I link it at the, or I list it at all of my newsletters, but it is very simple. It's uh, 8010. 8010. Wait, P.O. box 8010? I think, oh, I'll list it. I'll, you know what? I'll have to put it. Emma, that's another thing for the, um, thank you. <laughs> Can't remember. I'm getting too sweaty now. Okay. I need my little folded piece of paper. And not you, but you. All right. So let me grab this little friend. Po box, yeah. It's where I keep all my po boy sandwiches. I, I don't know. I just am reaching there. P.O. box. Yes, I do have one and I will list it. Um... Okay, and that, my little emboss this, that's from Refined Crafts. And I think that is the cutest, uh, I, I love it. I think it's the cutest thing ever. Okay, we are getting close. We are getting close here. And I'm not gonna do an edited version of this, so <laughs> if you're here for the magic, you're here for the magic. The edited versions are great. I love when Christina does that, but the techniques I'm doing, you know, but they're they're not that fancy okay look how good that did there's a is there a little powder there hold on as I got closer I saw there was a few let's just go 
like that. And get those errant flakes away with a dry brush because, you know, if you got the time, why not? Okay, here we go. Oh, Emma's got it. Thank you, Emma. That Emma just posted my P.O. box and I check it probably once every two weeks. It's not like it's that far away, but I just never, I just never go there. Okay. I'm gonna heat up my hotter tool and melt the powder. And thank you, Kathleen. I mean, you know, some people, they love this. I, I am one of them. I like watching long videos. Like, like Bethany's channel, like B B Beth Adilly, I love her long videos. Um, they're relaxing and I like to watch the whole process. But that's, you know, that's just me. All right. All right. Uh, can I hang you up still? No, I'll put you over here. All right, I, did I melt all the powder? Guess what, I missed a spot, hold on. There we go. I've been doing that lately. Um, where I kind of miss a spot. And uh, hold on here, my computer just went wonky on me. Okay, I need my New Year's die, or my sentiment labels. And I need to move this out of the way. We're running out of surfaces right now. I'll just stack a few more over there. Yeah, okay. Um, Hold on one second. I am looking for something here in, that I need. And let's figure out which one, I'll zoom in here a little for this. We're a little far out, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Just simple, my friend. Okay, um, I'm not sure which one is gonna work best. That is not quite there. We gotta go up one, like that. I think that's okay, I think that will work. I think that will work. So I'm going to take this down. Oh. And that looks pretty good. Yeah. Mm, I just slipped. So you always have to kind of watch for those in, in scripts, the uh, ascenders and the descenders, right? Because top and bottom. And that's what we do. Okay. And let's go cut this out again. Die cut cam. It's just waiting for me. No storm yet. So that's, that's nice. All right. Popping you in and we'll cut this out. All right, I'm back over to the table cam because now I am gonna use the little fishtail dies that come with this um, because I really do like them. What I don't know yet though is, do I want to have just like one fishtail. Oh, I think this is going to be very, very cute. Ooh. Now, of course, this is not a card you would mass produce. You know what I mean? Oh, hey, Cherie. Yeah, I've been, <laughs> Cherie, I've been, I've been live for a while. I've been out here, been out here for an hour. We're just, we're just going on, you know? Um, well, and yes, Kay, I know in the premieres, I totally, that's all I'm doing. I'm not watching my video. I'm watching the chat. And here it's kind of a different vibe because, I mean, I always want to save time at the end for answering questions. If you have any, of course, um, let's go like this. I like to just secure everything because I'm not great with these little fishtails, but aren't they cute? You know, they're just, it's, yeah, I, I love this. Let's go back, die cut cam, and we'll get our little fishtail. All right. We're almost there. See, it can turn all the way around. I mean, I love it. I love that. I love having my Gemini over here as opposed to behind me. Oh, let's go back to the table cam. <laughs> Sometimes I forget which camera I'm on. All right, and now this, see the plate right now? This is ready to be changed. Like as soon as it starts to get all this, this cutting in here, you're, you're ready to switch it out. So all I do is I switch one at a time. And what I will do is I will take this lovely plate, which I accidentally cut into once, and this will become my new cutting plate. And this will become my new top 
plate once I have a brand new friend in here. So, see, I don't think I'm gonna go with two sides. I think I am going to cut this. Let me move my that out of the way. I think what I'm going to do is, let's get my paper trimmer. I'm going to cut it so that it's about right there. Isn't that cute though, just with the white? Let me trim this down a little and we'll see. All right, still got people hanging with us. Yes, we do. Well, thank you everyone. Also, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you become a subscriber because the closer, the closer we get to 75,000, the closer we come to Dan and Kathy's magical craft and wine cocktail hour where my hubby has agreed to make cards with me. And uh, well, I think a good time's gonna be had by all. So here's what I think I want to do. I, I want to have it here. I don't even know if I wanna pop it up, but you know what? I think I, I think I'm going to. Um, I think I will boop, but I'm not sure yet. Let me grab a thinner foam tape. I, I have several foam tapes. And this foam tape from Thermoweb is a it's a, a thinner loft, and I have not linked this. So Emma, if you could remind me to link this Thermoweb tape. I don't have it linked, or maybe I do, I don't know. I, but yes, when 75,000 subscribers hit, we are gonna have a 75,000 subscriber special. I'm going to have cocktails. Well, I'm gonna have wine, I don't do cocktails, who am I? And we're gonna have a fantastic giveaway. I've already started reaching out to some of my industry friends to see about sponsoring the giveaways, and I think it could be really fun. Now, I think that's really cute. Is it me? It's not me, right? So cute, so simple. All right, let's put this on. Um, where is my friend? Here we go. Now, Dan, I was just, t I was just telling him about the 75,000 special. Y you know about that, right? We've talked about this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but it was no, it was a hundred thou until I realized it's going to take, that will be five years from now. It takes a while. YouTube is a slow grower, and I, I wouldn't have it any other way, and I'll tell you why. Because I want you to subscribe because you want to see this content. You know what I mean? It's like, th that that's, that's the way it should be. Not people who don't want to see it. In fact, the other, well, I'm not even going to go there. We're just going to pop this down, let go, and, oh, it's so cute. I love it so much. Now here's the thing, you know what? I don't, I don't wanna put any, I don't know if I wanna put sequins on this. If, let me grab something and you tell me, I think this is gonna call for something less obtrusive. So I'm walking over to my Alex cabinet and I'm going to grab some of this and I'm going to put on what about some clear? I think these are so cute. These are um, called uh, barely there or barely clear or something. And they're they're clear drops. And I think this would be really pretty. Um, because, well, and here's the thing. If I pop some down and you think, no, that doesn't look good, they're super easy to take off. So it might be bootless. See, I don't think it does either, but let's just hover. Let's hover one. You know what? It doesn't need anything. This is this is a good example of knowing when to walk away. You gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know when to run. And that is the finished card project. I know, it's okay though, because that is a statement card in and of itself, and that's the finished card project. So, oh! <laughs> I'm super sweat. Look how shiny my skin is. Anyway, that's the finished card. Let me let me zoom in there for you. Now, does anyone have any questions at all before I let you go for the day? First of all, really appreciate you being here. Second of all, it was a little fussy. 
but sometimes that's fun and i'm i'm excited because i've never i've never done an eclipse card and i've seen it done it's not <laughs> lord knows there aren't really any techniques that i have invented but i think it's really fun and you can do this with any ward die that you have you could do this with pretty much any die that you could you know build up dimension paint over it do whatever you want over it you could ink blend as well um so yeah that was really fun um whew, there you go there you go does anyone have any questions for me before i go because you know because because i'm just gonna i'm gonna pop them out like i'm gonna put kc in california nice effect thank you so much i appreciate that thank you <laughs> Oh, again, yeah, feel free to subscribe. I'm going to take some pictures of this later and post it to Instagram. One of the things that I don't do is I don't do corresponding blog posts for live stream because I want live, screen, live streams to be more free and less structured. And so blog posts, yeah, do we really need one? No. No, we don't. Um, yeah, but um, let's see here. Uh, but I do want to thank you all for joining today. And I'm not, I don't have an outro. Oh, let's go. Mira's got a question. Oh, Mira, I'm trying to get it. Do you use normal watercolor paints or just ink pads or reinkers? Here's the deal. I have fancy watercolors. I never use them. I thought that I was going to use them, but you know what works best? Uh, dye inks. Dye inks. That's where it's at. And I just paint with these now. I don't. I don't worry about the ink, uh, the fancy. Uh, Oh, the fancy schmancy. You know what I mean? Oh, Roberta, what's for dinner? Uh, leftovers. My husband does catering with a friend in the summer for a concert venue called Surly, and it's fantastic. And he always brings home uh, plates, like trays of the most delicious food. So we're having more leftover tonight. Chicken shawarma and Kafka, Kafka and oh my goodness, so many good things. Um, so Deborah, that answers your question as well. Uh, thank you, Kelly. I appreciate you. And I don't think you're a creeper at all. Thank you. Uh, okay. So another question here. Um, Cheryl asks if I use different brushes. I do. I have two sets, but they're not just for distress and distress oxide. I consider it dye ink versus pigment ink. So an oxide is more of a pigment ink. And so I use different brushes for my creamier pigment inks and every other ink gets used with um, my brushes. But I also keep a set of brushes for my Gina K inks just because I'm a little picky. Um, uh, yes, Ellen, I agree. I think that it possibly is time. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, the, the question is like whether it's just either or. Um, distress inks are going to give you something that's brighter, something that's richer. You know, this is distress regular formula. If this were uh, an oxide, it would look different. You know, it would have been cute on this too before I um, popped this down. It would have been cute to flick on some water and uh, let some of that reaction happen. I think that would have been uh, really good. Oh, really? I have earned it? I don't know if my stomach is saying that, but you know what? I'm going to take you up on that. Um, that is literally coming up next for me. Um, hey, Barb. I didn't see you in the chat earlier, but it's good it's good. Oh, Mira, am I ready for Crop and Create Fall? I am so ready. My cards are so cute. Concord and Ninth just nailed it. Um, that's who I'm working with, and I am very excited. They, they're they very me. I love working with them. Crop and Create is an online event. It's, of course, sold out, but we will have more coming in the spring. It is the best, most fun event, and yes, I'm, I'm totally ready for it. Uh, yes, yes. Um, what about, oh, yes, Marita, I need to remember to do that too, to, to continue posting to the community tab. I will do that. So it will go there. It will go to Instagram. And, and I will take a new thumbnail picture too, so that, you know, when you come back to the video, you would see what it looks like. So yes, I will do that. Thank you for that reminder, Marita. Uh, thank you, Mari. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm all for not having to cook uh, either. Yes, Francine, I am going to be making like a fiend in stamp timber um i have a box like i said over my shoulder it is so good and it is it is i mean it's it's fun it's good i can't wait to share some of my new releases but the release in general oh i don't know what any of the collaborations are yet that still is unknown i, I get to find out before you do but i still don't know any of those 
I'm just talking about the Simon brand, the Simon brand and all of the products we have. Woo, crazy. It's going to be very fun. Very, very fun. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, Stamp Timber. I know it's not good for the pocketbook, but it is, it is really fun. Um, I have some products that I'm excited. In fact, tomorrow, I think you won't see it, but I get to start making some of the cards for Stamp Timber. I got to film a bunch of videos. Plus I have to film more videos just to have on my channel. Plus I have a bunch of assignments that I have to do. Then I have to get the magazine uh, finished into print and then finish out all the crop and create things, but it's all good. It's all good. I like having a job. So jobs are good. Um, Tim. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. Suzanne, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Just want to give you a little shout out. Um, thank you so much. That's very, that's very kind. Um, yes. Uh, I did get some stuff from Tim. I didn't get the, I didn't get any of the Halloween stuff that he did the other day, but he did send me those Halloween dyes, the ones that are the thinlets and oh, I love them. I love them. There's more Halloween coming. Um, I've got some fun stuff. So, um, and yeah, the stencils look amazing. Um, if I were, oh, this is a good question. If I were washing out my brushes, um, why would I separate? Um, I, you know, again, just it, if you're washing your brushes, there's no need to use separate. You're good. I just don't, I don't wash my brushes. Um, if I don't have to <laughs> kind of lazy, I do enough housework. You know what I mean? So that's, that's sort of my thing, right? Um, boy, I look really dark in the circle. I wonder if I should, <laughs> there we go. See, now I have ring lights in my eyes. That's ridiculous. Um, oh, <laughs> Terry. What? Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. You don't see that every day. You you are all too kind. Thank you so much. That is very generous. Terry, I appreciate it. Wow. Um, Y'all are a great community and I appreciate your interest in my channel and in coming here. And this is, this is my job now and I could not be luckier to get to do it and to have an audience. So I really appreciate you when you take time to watch, when you leave a comment. It means a lot to me and um, I just want to keep creating content and having fun with you because the good news is I don't know everything in card making and that is what makes it so fun is that I can do something I've never done before and it feels like magic to me and I want you to have that magical feeling too because if you're a card maker, you kind of get that, right? Um, so thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, Bobby, they're probably coming soon. I, I just got... Um, I wanted some extras. I got some two orders ago. They are great sleeves. Um, and uh, yeah, so thanks again, Terry. Um, very kind of you all. And I, I'm going to let you go so you can get out and do things in your world. Um, and oh, see, I'm trying to get my camera out of the way. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, my goodness. See, this is why I don't like a ring light because look at that. It's just do I have weird contacts in? No, no, I don't. Um, but it does give me, it just got very dark all of a sudden. And that's what happens when you're here in the craft slash dining room, right? You just, oh, that is just weird. That is just freaky. Anyway, I hope that you all have a fun, uh, fun rest of your day. Get crafty, you know, make an eclipse card. Well, that's so cute. I can't wait to take pictures of it. I will update my supply list for anything that I forgot to mention, and I hope that you all have a great day. I hope to be back here this weekend with another video about something. I haven't figured out what that will be, but when I do, I'll be sure to let you know. Thanks again. Be sure to hit that like button so YouTube thinks about possibly sharing it to other people, and subscribe, and then I will see you back here with another card project soon. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.